Hello, Taurus. This is your reading for February 2021. Um, five card spread for Taurus, Sun and Rising. Looking for new energies, hopefully positive energies. But if we don't get one, we always work through it, you know? Let's see what's coming in for Taurus, Sun and Rising, like I said. And I will be doing the pick a card um, focused on love. That's what I'm going to focus towards or um, the pick a card reading, but this is the five card spread, and it may talk about love in this also, okay? Incoming energy, child, child of pentacles in reverse. This could be you feeling like you don't have enough experience. You feel lack of stability. You may be waiting on messages of stability that have to do with finances. Could be all those things, okay? Past, doing on with the Father of Swords. The Father of Swords can be an Aquarius, but it doesn't have to be. It could be any B. I've... Because we're doing the masses, it could be any air sign, but it's more like someone who is very straight to the point, very intelligent, usually there for people, okay? It also could be, this could be someone in your life, but you feel like someone has betrayed you or they feel like you have betrayed them. That is the obstacle, trying to come out of feeling betrayed. Three of Wands, for some reason, Taurus, you feel like your ships aren't coming in or they're feeling like you're too slow or negative things aren't leaving. And uh, outside influences that is coming towards you, someone was, is very heartbroken towards you. They're very heartbroken. They're trying to come out of that, okay? In the end, the Wheel of Fortune, you feel like something is not moving forward. We're going to find out more, okay? This temporary energies, and I, when I clarify, I could change the story up. It does often, but I know someone on the outside is faring, feeling heartbroken. If you're feeling heartbroken, um, they are also too, too. But I feel like someone betrayed somebody. And if I had the comments open, I had to shut them down because YouTube is like got the comments messed up. Like for some people, they work and other people, they don't. And it gets kind of weird. Like they'll be there and then they'll just disappear. And so I got tired of people thinking I wasn't answering them, you know. But I do feel if, if I have them open, someone is feeling betrayed. They're trying to come out of feeling betrayed. They may have ended something. They felt it was a misfortunate situation, but someone on the outside is definitely trying to come out of heartbreak. Um, you may be also, could have to do with the Father of Swords, but I need, um, let me see, I need two cards. Let me, let me split shuffle or split these up. I need Two cards for the Father of Swords for Taurus Sun and Rising. Like I said, we'll do the pick a card reading. I have to do with love. But someone is definitely feeling betrayed and very upset on the outside, okay? Ten of Water, someone you felt you had a happily ever after with, or they did with you or wanted this. Two of Earth, but maybe things got in the way, maybe things got busy, or, you know, a big change has happened in this situation where someone feels betrayed. So I got the Ten of Swords. It says that... Um, this is what you're supposed to be overcoming. It's the obstacle. So the Ten of Swords in reverse. I need two cards, please, for Taurus. Let's see what's going on. Seven of Fire. Someone may got defensive or someone needs to get on top of things. And they feel like they can't take a leap of faith for whatever reason. They're being very careful. You are being very careful or they are. But it's saying someone needs to get on top of a situation. Something is... It's called valor. It's, it's taken up for yourself and things of that nature. And it could be that some people got defensive, but, you know, others are being very careful about who they let in their lives and hurt them. And that could be it, too. Or someone possibly wants to come in, but you're not you're not trusting them. And they also feel I have trust issues, okay? Three of Wands. I'm going to see this. Sun. Yeah, Ten of Air. There it is again. Ten of air and yes, ten of swords in reverse, okay? Three of wands where someone is feeling like nothing good is going to come in, that someone's always going to betray them. Need another card. These are mostly like what you've already been going through. But you got a situation where someone may want you to collaborate and work with them. But you may say, well, you're just going to mess me over. Maybe they did mess you over or that you had past situations where people messed you over. And now someone who is a like-minded, who has also been hurt, if not by you, by other people, they want to come out of heartbreak too. But it's like you're not letting them in and they want you to. So I feel like someone wants to come into your life, whether past person, new person or whatever. You're just like, it's like you're closing your heart off to them, Taurus. So I need two cards for the three of swords. And it could be that they're closing their heart off also. I'm feeling both... Yeah, there can be growth. There can be growth in the situation. They want to send you love, 
okay? Someone has had past heartbreak either with you or themselves. That's what I'm saying. They're wanting to send you a message of love, okay, to you that will bring in growth. But you're just not trusting in it. you got the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. It's like you don't think it's going to be a good thing for you. Let's find out why. These are mostly, I feel like, feelings. It's like you're holding back. Let me do the pick a card reading in a minute, though. Yeah, it's time to say start over, you know, start over page of earth uh, with a practical uh, situation. This could be you, again, a younger type earth sign, but it also could be messages of stability. Someone wants to start over with you, but you feel like it would be misfortune. You're thinking it's, yeah, you're thinking you don't know if you want to invest in it with the seven of pentacles. I do feel like someone wants to come out of heartbreak with you or themselves. They were heartbroken and, and they have been betrayed and they want to come out of it and they want to come towards you, but maybe you're feeling this way too, or maybe you did break their heart, but someone is definitely wanting to send you a message and growth with you wanting to start over or the world wants you to start over with them. But like I said, you're putting up your boundaries. Let me sit there and see what love has to say here. Okay. Pick a card reading. Someone putting up their swords. First part of February, that's for sure. Or at least uh, within the second week coming up, right before Valentine's Day. I'm thinking someone may send you a message. They may be a little scared you're going to break their heart. It says here that they want you to collaborate, but you're saying, I don't think this is worth it. That's why I'm reading the cards. Okay, well, I need three cards for the angel love cards. For Taurus Summon Rising. February 2021. See what's going on here. Three cards from the angel answers. We need help with the angels here. Taurus, you're feeling a little burned, or someone else around you is, or both of you are. For Taurus Summon Rising. February 2021. Three cards. Pick a card reading. Ah, sticking a little. And three cards in the Moonology. For Taurus Sun and Rising. Now, it's for February, like I said, 2021. I'm going to try to give other readings for February for everybody, but... Every time I plan something, you know how that goes. Now you pick whatever you feel most compelled to or, can, or you know, you feel that you should draw or pick. It'll be the most powerful, but I bring them all together at the end for secondary energies. A lot of times they do relate. So I pick this section right here. Give your relationship a chance, it says here. Mm, I'm sorry, I'm, you see me shuffle the cards in front of you, okay? Situation will improve and the hard work will pay off. So it's saying give a relationship a chance and the situation will improve. Like I said, someone definitely wants to come out of a heartbreak situation. And like I said, you were probably heartbroken at one time also. It says you deserve love. Wait, love is going to come in. It says bring into the love situation. It says... I'm thinking of saying, because it's saying you deserve love and bring love in the situation. So wait on this love situation to improve. I think it will improve your love life. So don't don't think it's not going to. See, a lot of people are going to be uh, flirting, okay, enjoying each other, you know, make a little phone call, you know, I can't even talk, text messages, whatever, little emojis and stuff like that, flirting around. It says to compromise. And if you're having trouble with it, you know, heartbreak, the ten of swords, I think it's three of swords. I see all kind of like where you were hoping for something good to come in and all of a sudden it kind of went amok and now you don't trust people. You don't trust other people at all. You know, even like lovers or someone's going to offer you, even if they're new, you're like, oh, it probably won't work. But say that your situation is going to start all over again in your world. And it's a good thing it starts over. You're going to get messages that make you feel more secure, okay? So bring balance and, and practicality, spirituality. If you need help from the angels, ask them, okay? It's time to compromise, flirt, enjoy yourself. You deserve to have love. You deserve to give relationships a chance again. Um, if you work hard at it, it'll pay off, okay? The situation will prove. Wait and see. You know, wait for it. Don't, don't, don't just walk away, from everything that anybody's been offering you. That's what it's saying. Some of you may want to. But right here it's saying that someone wants you to give them a chance. 
I feel that. They want you to give them a second chance or a first chance. This person, maybe you haven't dated them yet. Maybe you just friend zoned them right away or put them from you right away when they want to be, you know, come towards you. But I think they'll bring you out of heartbreak, this person will, if anything. If it's a new person, I think they'll bring you out of heartbreak. If it's an old person, they want to come out of heartbreak with you, okay? That is your reading. I'm going to let this go. I know they're short, but... Uh, the internet, or at least YouTube, gets saturated with readings because everybody thinks, you know, they want to be a reader. But what happens is YouTube just doesn't promote them anymore. So I will be given, like, messages on my website, which I just fixed, okay? I had to get another server, like I said. I will be giving you message on there or telling you what's going on with the channel and my life and what has been going on all the way around with everything, Okay. That's the way I'm going to do it. It's the only way you're going to be able to hear anything anyway. I'm going to let this go. I'll talk to you later. Bye.